Hello everyone, I'm at Video Productions and welcome back to another video. Today we have some breaking uh, news about Dolly 2. Dolly 2 is now officially in beta, but it's actually not public beta, it's still closed beta. They say they want to invite over 1 million people in the coming weeks, and um, yeah, today's video is basically all the info and some public reaction and opinion about this. I don't think it's going to be very good, to be honest, uh, but yeah, this is this is some crazy news today. So yeah, they're going to invite over a million people. That's 10 times more people uh, than we're pretty much already in Dolly 2. But yeah, you still need to get an invite and sign up on the waitlist uh, to be able to get access. And essentially, when you do get access, and this applies to, by the way, everyone that's already in the beta, everyone that was getting 50 free prompts per day, every Dolly 2 user will receive 50 free credits during their first month of use and 15 free credits every subsequent month after that. And you can buy, now pay for, 115 extra prompts or credits. So every credit is basically a prompt that can generate up to four images um, for 15 bucks, essentially. So that comes down to about 13 cents per prompt, which is per. I mean, I think that's a little bit more on the expensive side, considering what everyone's original reaction was to the pricing survey that released a few weeks ago. One credit for one Dolly prompt generation returning four images or an edit variation prompt, which only returns three images and they welcome feedback and plan to explore other pricing options that will align with users creative processes when they learn more so this is not final uh, i think that's very important to note this is not final pricing um, and they want to thank everyone by the way that was already in the the uh, research phase basically the the special lucky few that got invited they gave us 100 credits to our accounts. I greatly appreciate that. But yeah, all of our accounts basically got reset. We got 50 generations for our beginning of our trial, right? As if we just got accepted now with this new pricing. And then we got 100 credits to, a credit to our account for being in the uh, beta and contributing to that. So now this is actually a bigger thing, I think, almost commercial use rights. So starting today, now everyone who has Dolly 2 access gets full rights to commercialize all of the images that we create with Dolly as long as we follow the content policy and terms. So now we can sell our images. I don't know if you can use them for NFTs. I'm pretty sure now people are going to be able to use them for NFTs and stuff like that, but if, if that's still relevant to anyone. Um, but yeah, now I can use them in videos and it's not really as big of a worry. You could sell your images or whatever, right, as art that you create, uh, which is a big step forward because uh, Dolly's current biggest competitor, which is Midjourney, of course, which is getting a huge update pretty soon, by the way, folks, uh, Midjourney already has uh, full commercial use rights similar to Dolly 2 now with this new update. So they also say you'll get these rights regardless of whether you used a free or paid credit to generate the images, which is a good thing. And uh, this includes all the images you've created before this new uh, beta release. And they also say they're going to offer financial assistance to certain artists, which is interesting. So you can actually apply for financial assistance. And I think this is to cover the specific people, especially that live in the other countries where the pricing sort of doesn't match up with their currency and they get kind of uh, screwed, so to speak, on the, uh, the cost of Dolly 2, which is, again, about 13 cents per prompt. $15 for 115 prompts now. So now we're going to move into community reactions to all of this. Uh, personally, I was like, wow, this is crazy. I'm mainly just surprised that they didn't just go public. I don't know why still, why they just won't release this thing public, especially if they want to invite over a million people to use it. Maybe they're worried about servers or something, but yeah. Here on Reddit, uh, people are mostly, I think, upset. I think that's really the main thing. Here, so um, people used to get 50 generations per day, and now we get 50 per month when you start, and then after that, 15 per month. And yeah, people are pretty, pretty upset about this crazy change and not being warned. And another person says that it wouldn't have been as bad if they hadn't dropped recently from six images down to four, which is a good one third decrease in how many images you can generate with Dolly. And uh, this guy says he's been having to rerun prompts because four prompts weren't good enough, and I've been experiencing the same thing, and I've also actually noticed a decrease in the quality of prompts lately, where now I think I'm getting more prompts that aren't uh, accurate to what my prompt was. And that's what this guy is talking about, and these people are uh, saying. This guy says he hopes that they continue to refine Dolly 2 with more features once it monet is monetized. And again, that's the, that's the thing here, is like competitors like Midjourney, which are already cheaper, by the way, than Dolly 2 if you compare the pricing, 
have more features with prompt weights and stuff like that. Even though Dolly 2 does have in painting, you can do aspect ratios with Mid Journey. I'm looking for those features available in Dolly 2, you know, some settings we can mess with, stuff like that. I would like to see that with Dolly 2, especially now that they're starting to charge people. What we used to have in this beta for the people that did have access would have costed $200 per month. I think that is a very important thing to note. So yeah, I expect a lot of you viewers who don't have access yet to get access pretty shortly to Dolly 2. As you can see, they released the statement on Twitter. And here on the Dolly 2 website is where you can actually finally see how many prompts you have left up here in the corner with this little thing right here. And we can see we can actually buy and pay for credits now. So they come in these little packs. You can buy however much worth you want. So 1,500 credits is about $200, and that's a month's worth of the original trial that people used to have access to. Well, I hope a lot of you viewers at home finally start to get access to this thing. And honestly, I hope this pricing does change soon, because I think it's a little bit on the steeper side personally. And yeah, I just don't know why they don't open it up into public beta at this point. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I would love to hear your various discussions on this. And also, I'd love to note... Why are we still having to deal with this watermark in the corner now that we have full commercial rights to all of our images? That's something I hope they change in the future as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm at Video Productions, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Have a good one.